Hey, what's up guys? Right back me, I have a 2020 Honda Civic. Customer left me this to do oil change. So I'm gonna do oil change on this car. This is the first oil change. She has over 6,000 miles. Okay, I do not recommend you go over 6,000 miles on the first oil change because the engine is breaking in. But I need your feedback. Let me know what you think. When you should do oil change, your first oil change, and how many miles. Or you do need to drive the car slowly and take it easy on the breaking of the engine. But She's a nice lady, she doesn't drive hard, but she did go over on too many mileages. So I'm gonna do the oil change, I'm gonna show you the torque specs and the capacity, oil filter and everything, okay? Torque spec will be on the drain plug. All right, so very simple video, but give it a thumbs up, share your feedback with everybody else so other people can get your information. And let me know what you think about it. So, here it is, and here it goes. All right, so going inside the car, let's see how many miles it has. Just want to show you guys first oil change and the mileage on this car is 6,633 okay so let's go and jack this up all right got this 2020 Honda Civic if you have a 1920 this is the member this is the first oil change the car customer drove more than what you're supposed to but anyways got this on the lift we're gonna go up and change the oil car is up in the air it looks shiny down here perfect first oil change the baby's getting first oil change so down here what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna remove this little guy this little guy and uh, this little guy that little guy I'm not sure if this is caught on to it but I'll check that one out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all the stuff that needs to be removed okay it's, it is held in by these little holders there so I like to let these drop on the floor and I'll just pick them up with one hand on the camera you can't really grab those all right it's all right but you have a uh, dosos flathead and this is a Phillip head screwdriver right here Let me know what you think about this oil change. When she should have had done. I know she did do it late. If I had my first oil change on my for a car, I bought a zero meter, I would have had done it within 2,000 miles. Okay, there you go. So you do not need to remove this little guy right here or that little guy. So this cover just simply comes right off. All right. And look at that. The pan is nice and shiny. That's the oil pan. It'll tell you engine oil and it'll point right at this. So this is a 17 millimeter. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up all of my stuff here scattered around. And I am gonna put it to one side so I do not lose anything. And I have one down here. Let this sit right there. All right, so I'm gonna go get my bucket. We're gonna put it down below. And we're gonna open this. And there's a filter right next to it. Okay, got my bucket here. So what I'm gonna do is first, I am gonna loosen this up, okay? Always inspect the little uh, gasket in there. So, and if you need to replace it, this one you can use a few times. So this is the first oil change, so it's okay. We're gonna reuse it. But once it gets squashed, uh, dealer usually change it every oil change. But it's okay, no worries. All right, so there comes the oil. So this Civic gets its first oil change today. All right, so I'm gonna let this thing drain out really good. They say the particles, I can see small little medical shiny particles in there. So on a first oil change, when you get by a brand new car, the engine does need to break in. You don't wanna rev it too hard. You don't wanna go crazy. You don't wanna go bananas. This is a lady, she doesn't drive crazy. But she did do the oil change a little bit late. Anyways, I'm gonna let this whole oil just come out. Probably the filter is probably full of uh, all kinds of dirt and debris. Not dirt and debris, I mean like the particles of engine when it breaks in. So 
Very important. Every oil change, you must change that filter. Don't think I go. I seen a lot of shops. Customer come to me. I do the oil change. They don't come to me for the next oil change, but they still have my filter on. A lot of shops they do crazy thing. Don't trust anybody. All right. Find a good mechanic that you do trust. Even though I said don't trust anybody, you need to trust one mechanic and be faithful, be real, and be honest with them guy. But anyways, I'm gonna take take that filter out. I do need your feedback, so do leave me a message. Let me know when you did your first oil change and how was it, when did you do it? So that way other people out there know more information about when they should do oil change. There's some people I know, like uh, my cousin, she didn't even know the car needed an oil change. She asked me a question, why do you do an oil change every 3,000 miles? Well, she needs to Google up stuff on look on YouTube. Anyways, I'm gonna go get a filter. We're gonna let this drain out. And then we'll change the filter and we'll put fluid, I mean, not fluid, oil into the car. All right, so the oil is still draining. For a while, it's draining. We can loosen this filter up. So you need a wrench. All you do is you grab this and you turn this counterclockwise. One hand, again, difficult. And I might switch up with a different wrench because my wrench here is not perfect. There you go. I loosened it up. Ooh, something almost fell in my eye. So I always wear glasses. So I'm gonna just loosen that up and leave it there. All right, I do have a little bit of oil over here. So what I'm gonna do is, this is the filter that I'm gonna be using. 4610, I'm using a Pure later. All right, that's the brand I'm using. So what you do wanna do is, you do wanna take a little bit of oil and put it around the seal. What that's gonna do is, when you put this filter onto the housing, it's gonna, the seal's gonna try to slip better around Instead of this being gripped, it doesn't want to tear itself, all right? So, we do have enough clearance here, so we can change the filter as soon as we're done with this drain plug. All right, so the oil has finished draining. Give it 10, 15, 20 minutes, even longer. All right, do open the cap on the top. I did not show you that part, but the cap is open on the top. And, uh... So we take this drain plug and you simply put the drain plug on. If you need torque specs, let me know. I will be posting them uh, on the video. All right. So, but what I like to do is I'm gonna snug it for now. And I like to tighten these by hand. I don't wanna go crazy, but I'm gonna give you a torque spec. I am very careful with oil. You don't wanna tighten this. You don't wanna strip this. You don't wanna damage this. Okay, I do need to get a little rag. I have something here. Wipe off the excessive oil. There you have it. All right, we're gonna move over to the filter. All right, there we have it. So the filter does have oil in it, so be careful. Make sure you put your drain bucket down below. All right, there it goes. It's coming down. All right. And you can simply just remove this filter and do pay attention. See the old seal on this old filter? Make sure that comes down with it. You don't want to leave that behind. That way it's gonna it's gonna leak if you leave that behind. Because what's gonna happen is two seals are not gonna match up. One is gonna slip away and it's gonna leave a gap and you're gonna have a massive, massive oil leak and you do not want that. Alright, looking good. And I'm gonna give it a little moment. And I'm gonna let this thing drain out. And then I'm gonna take my rag here, this dirty looking rag here, and I'm gonna clean where the filter seal is gonna sit, but let's give it a good 10 minutes for this thing to drain. All right, once it has finished draining, you take your rag, you just clean all around, one little wipe, okay? Make sure you do have oil on the ring here. And then you take this and you simply turn this, grab the threads once you do grab it you can't move your oil pan out of the way and all you're gonna do is you're gonna hand tighten this that's it hand tight very good so let me get everything out of the way I'm gonna wipe this down and we're gonna put the cover on all right, time for us to put this cover on so this cover very simple what we're gonna do here is 
we're gonna try to grab it in one hand all right so we're gonna try to stick this cover into this little guy here and that little guy but everything has to be lined this little guy and this little guy is gonna help us hold it and then we can just put our screws in all right so here goes nothing It's not gonna be easy, just make sure these are nice and even all around. And after that, you just push it forward. There you go, my hands are away and it's held on its own. After that, you're gonna get this guy here. Oops, this guy goes right there. I think this cover needs to come a little bit more forward. There you go. All right, so with these, I'm gonna show you one because I'm not gonna be able to do it by it. Okay, I got this little guy sticking out. I'm gonna have to take out these probably again. That's all I'm saying. Just make sure you get all of them properly. All right, so I'm gonna go back a little bit, try to grip it. And then push it forward, there you go, perfect. All right, so let's put this back in. Gotta play around with it. All right, with these, all you need to do is a half a turn. So you get this in there. Once you get that in there, I'm gonna have to go get my, I'm gonna hold this pit pinky. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my, all right, so I'm holding it with that. So all you're gonna do is, oops. These are a little tricky. You do need two hands. Let me hold it with the pinky let me get my screwdriver on and then i can simply just show you guys what i'm doing here so half a turn oh my god i'm gonna have to put the camera away all right so let me try to get this one because for some reason that one is not lining i might have to wiggle later on with two hands okay there you go so i was going the wrong way we're gonna go clockwise all right so do that for all of them and you're done Make sure your filter and the drain plug is tight and then we can put the oil and reset the light. Okay, I'm up on top of the car here. I do have the, this is the funnel. Okay, this is how my, where I wanna put the oil from. But this cap here, this is what you remove. You turn it kind of clockwise. Does have a number on it, 0W20. So that's the oil you're gonna use. I also took out the dipstick. What I like to do on the dipstick is on a first oil change, I remove, gotta remove both of these cap and this dipstick because that's gonna give a lot of ventilation to the engine so that all the oil can just come down, okay? So, we're gonna put four and a half quarts of uh, zero W20 synthetic, full synthetic, okay? So simply, I'm gonna just throw in four and a half quarts of oil. Again, let me know what you think about this oil change and when you should do your first oil change when she should have had done first oil change and what you would have done different than I did. Let me bring the camera up a little bit. There you go. Looks good. So I'm putting four and a half quarts and after that you can start your engine and check it. I like to check it so you're not going to see me do that but do check your fluid. But even if you get four and a half in there that would be more than good enough. Alright camera keeps going down. There you go. It's better. Alright that was four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put half of this. After that, I'll check. And I will be resetting the light. That will be a different video. So check that out if you need to reset a light on a 2020 Honda Civic for the oil reset light. Should be easy and simple, one video, okay? So after this, make sure you take out your funnel. 
Make sure you put on this cap. You do not forget to put this cap because if you forget, forget about it. Vacuum leak, engine check engine, all kinds of crazy stuff. Anyways, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up, share and like, and let me know what you think.